We are here in Bangkok, Thailand, and you know what I realized? I have yet to go to this popular fast food chicken restaurant here in Thailand. So in today's episode, I'm going to introduce you guys to Five Star Chicken. I've never been to Five Star Chicken before, but they are a huge fast food chicken restaurant here in Thailand with over 5,000 locations. Also, they have 3,500 locations across nine different countries throughout the world. So I'm really excited to try Five Star Chicken and also show you guys my first experience trying this popular chicken restaurant. So let's go. All right guys, we made it. We finally got our order for the five star chicken and I'm so excited to try this. They had a huge selection to choose from and there was a lot of construction going on. So basically you couldn't hear anything, but I wanna to explain to you guys what we got. Um, we got actually half of a rotisserie chicken. So they have the whole chicken right there and they cut it up for us in pieces. Also, we got some fried chicken that's spicy and non-spicy. On top of that, they had smoked chicken, which I never heard of smoked chicken at a restaurant before. Also, they had chicken balls or like chicken sausage. The two different kinds, they had spicy and non-spicy, so we got those as well. On top of that, they have a popular sauce they have. They sell separately, and here it is. So I had to buy the separate sauce to try this as well. And unfortunately, they were out of duck, so I couldn't show you guys duck, but we got every type of chicken they had available. Okay, now we're gonna start off with the spicy fried chicken. And of course, fried chicken is one of my favorites, so let's dig in. All right, here we go, guys. This is the spicy fried chicken, and they give you both a leg and a thigh combined. All right, so let's go ahead and break this apart and try this. Oh, look at that. That chicken looks really juicy. All right, first bite, five-star chicken. Wow, the spicy is spicy, but also has a hint of sweetness to it too. The chicken is super moist. Why haven't I tried this sooner? Guys, this chicken's so good. I'm not exaggerating. You know, I've had chicken from many different countries, and by far, this is probably one of my favorite chickens I've tried. Wow, this is really good. All right, moving on to our original fried chicken. This is non-spicy. It's a really big piece of chicken too. Let me go break this apart. Look at that, guys. This is the thigh part. Look at that. Look how juicy that is, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's try a bite of this. Mm. Wow, seriously, where has five star chicken been? <laughs> so good. I got two different sauces he gave me. I don't know which one's which, but I'll go ahead and try both of them. And if you guys are from Thailand and know what the sauces are, let me know. All right, we'll try this uh, small sauce first. I'm just gonna pour just a little bit on the chicken, just like so. All right, we'll see what the sauce tastes like. Mmm, sweet chili sauce. All right, let's try this sauce here. Just drizzle a little bit on this chicken here. Whoa. All right, let's give this a try. It tastes the same, but a little bit different. I'm kind of confusing. It tastes like sweet chili sauce, but a little bit more milder. Yeah, it's a good sauce, but it's really, I don't understand why it's two different kinds of sauces. Yeah, this is just a little bit milder sauce than this other one. This is a little less sweet. It's good sauce though. Oh man, the chicken's good. You guys know what the sauces are, if there's a difference between the sauces or if they're the same. <laughs> if they're the same, just let me know that too. But yeah, that's pretty good sauce. But in the meantime, you know what? I forgot to grab a drink, guys. So um, we are here in the Lotus Food Court. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop by one of these vendors and grab a drink. But in the meantime, perfect time for you guys to smash that like button and subscribe. Right over here, there's a smoothie stall, and they have a mango smoothie with uh, yogurt. They also have strawberry, avocado. Uh, yeah, let's try a mango yogurt smoothie. Here you go, 60 baht. All right, there it is, mango smoothie. Okay, we got it. We got our mango yogurt smoothie. Look at that. Wow, she filled it all the way up to the top. <laughs> that was nice of her. All right, let's try this. 
Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's really good. Mm. Oh man. Can't say this enough. Love Thailand mangoes. They're so good. Moving on. We have some of this roasted chicken. It's really popular here. And you can actually ask for a half or a whole chicken. We got a half and he cut it up for us real nice. Look at that. That looks so tender. Just the roasted, fresh roasted chicken. Yeah, when we were there, they had like four of them sitting there and people were just coming up and ordering like really a lot of these. So we had to order fast before they ran out. All right, let's try this. Whoa, that is super tender. Oh my gosh. The seasoning on the outside is really good seasoning. This is tender. I can barely have to chew it. Wow. All right, guys, I saw the sauce. And I've seen it sold in the grocery store too. So I'm thinking it's popular. And I've never, never tried the sauce before. So I've never been five stars. So let's give it a try. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it looks like it has some chili flakes in there. Also looks like a dark soy sauce kind of uh, sauce. All right, here we go. Mmm, it reminds me of like a hot oil chili. It has kind of that more smokier flavor. Also guys, I know it's really popular to have a sticky rice with your chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off some of the sticky rice and put it with my chicken. Also have this really tender chicken here. So go ahead and break off a piece of this chicken and put a little bit of sticky rice with it. Put a little sauce on there. All right guys, here it is. Five star chicken with sticky rice and some sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all going by right there, guys. Mm. Now, seriously, we've been to Bangkok many times. Also, we've seen Five Star Chicken walking by, but we never end up stopping. So I should stop by Five Star Chicken a long time ago. This is really good. I'm really surprised. I'm really impressed also with the Five Star Chicken. They offer different types of chicken. Um, in the States, you don't have restaurants that have fried chicken as well as rotisserie chicken, as well as smoked chicken. Seriously, guys, that's kind of really impressive for a chicken restaurant to have all these different kinds of chicken. My wife, she's a rotisserie chicken kind of person. I'm a fried chicken kind of person. So yeah, we typically don't have an opportunity to go to a restaurant where you can have rotisserie chicken and fried chicken at the same time. All right, I'll put a little bit of this uh, sweet sauce on here. Stick your rice and chicken, there you go. Mm. That's good. Mango juice. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. And if you're not here in Thailand, and have you seen a five-star chicken in your country? If so, have you tried it? And also, if you have a favorite spot in your country, let me know what your favorite chicken spot is. I'd love to hear it because I'm always on the lookout for good fried chicken. Something new I've never seen before is chicken balls or chicken sausage. And they had two different kinds. This is the regular non-spicy. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. Mm-hmm. Has a little bit of seasoning inside of here. It looks like minced vegetables. So the flavors inside of the chicken is really good. No, I like these. You know, I'm a big fan of like um, fish balls or also pork balls when they have ground meat put together into a, like a sausage. So these chicken balls are really good. Mm. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the five star sauce to it. Try this this way. Here we go. Mm. This is a really good one to pick up while you're walking, you know. You can pick this up and uh, walk and uh, eat at the same time. Next is the spicy one. I, mean, yeah, I think you can see chilies in there. That might be chili. All right, let's give this a try. Mmm, I can taste the chili. A little bit spicy, not that spicy, but it's a really strong flavor, so I like this one better. Don't get me wrong, I actually have seen other people trying this uh, chicken sausage and the reaction was a little bit mixed. Like they weren't really enjoying it as much, but I'll tell you what, for me, yeah, I like it. This also reminds me of Odang, which is a fish cake in Korea. And so it's very similar to that. So that's why I like this thing, I think. All right, and our final item on the menu is the smoked chicken. And I never was expecting smoked chicken on a menu for fast food, but let's try this. And it kind of reminds me of like a smoked ham, the texture wise, also the skin. 
they kind of roll it up as uh, chicken, but it's real chicken. All right, let's try this. Oh, yeah. Seriously, the best way to explain this to you, just like smoked ham. You can taste the smoke flavor. Texture is really firm. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good though. All right, guys. I was gonna put some of this uh, spicy sauce on here. Cool. There it is. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's it right there. Mmm. Seriously, I'm so impressed with five-star chicken. Mm. I'll tell you what, guys, you can make everyone happy in your family by getting all these different kinds of chicken. You got the fried, you have the roasted, you have the smoked. Guys, five-star chicken is actually really reasonable too in terms of price. I got all this chicken and sauce for 377 baht. And that's around $10 for all this, guys. That's crazy. Think about going to McDonald's and what you can get from $10 at McDonald's. This is amazing chicken value. I'm really glad I found Five Star Chicken and um, I'll be going back definitely for trying more of this. So, I'll tell you what, we are here in Lotus and they have a lot of different types of uh, food stalls and desserts. So, stick around. I'm going to show you guys one of the desserts here. Can I get a uh, banana peanut butter, number 10? I walked around all of this place and saw donuts, saw ice cream, saw breads, and puff pastries. Yeah, they had everything. But I decided to go and try this crepe. So we're gonna try a banana and uh, peanut butter crepe. Okay, thank you. Got the crepe, wow. Professionally made crepe. Here it is, guys. <laughs> we got the crepe for dessert. Oh my gosh, this crepe is so huge. Look at that. And I love banana peanut butter, so I had to try the crepe with banana peanut butter. And she drizzled on some chocolate as well as some condensed milk. And we have peanut butter and banana. Let's try a bite here. Mmm. Wow, the crepe flavor is really good crepe flavor. The batter is really good. And I didn't think there was gonna be much flavor because not much stuff out here, but the flavor is really good here. I did see her making it, and she just spread the peanut butter all the way to the edge, so you're getting a flavor bite every time you bite into this. Let me go ahead and break off a piece. All right, so got a little bit of banana with the peanut butter. Mm. Oh, wow, this is such a good dessert. Mm. There's so many dessert options. I walked by this crepe store first when we came here, so it caught my attention. I wanted to go back and get the crepe, but I'm glad I did. This is a great way to end our day of eating five-star chicken. And it was really great chicken. I'm glad I got a chance to stop by and try that chicken. Also, got to end off with a great crepe today for dessert. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, guys, I appreciate your support. Have yourself a wonderful day, and we'll see you back next video. Bye-bye.